with a haul. It's just kind of a collective haul. I've been shopping, you know, clothes, just kind of like random stuff. So I've just collected it and now I'm going to finally show you guys what I picked up. So I placed an order with Forever 21 last week and I've kind of been shopping and I'll like add stuff to my cart and then I will close the browser, I won't buy it and then because I just feel guilty and don't end up getting it. But you know sometimes there's just those things that you absolutely have to have and I kind of found some stuff and I was like I'm getting these. So this first top is this red peplum sleeveless top. I love this. It's like this really nice fabric. I don't know. It's kind of textured. Really cute. I picked this up in a size medium and it was $18.80. So the piece that I loved and I was like, I am placing my order was actually because of this dress. It's relatively new on the website. I love the scalloped bottom and it's like a double layer except for the sleeves. It's like this really pretty lace boat neck with a cute detail in the back. I got a size large. It's totally oversized. Um, it's definitely a shift style. Like it, it is not fitted by any means. I probably could have gone with a medium, but it's quite short. And this was $33.80. Or, and I actually wore this to my sister's baby shower last weekend. I've had my eye on this yellow peplum skirt for like months. And they just reduced the price to like $13, so I scooped it up. I got it in a size large, which is a good fit. It's not skin tight. Now, I've had this yellow chiffon top on my wish list for months. I blogged about it like months and months ago, but I never pulled the trigger. And I'm a little bit disappointed. It's from the Love 21 line. It's really pretty. It's high-low, and it's got the great V in the back. And a little bit of a flutter sleeve. Um, it was... 2180 and it's kind of a, a greenish yellow. I thought it was going to be a really sunshine yellow, but it's kind of got that green tinge. I'm a little disappointed, but I probably will keep it. And then lastly, I'm love, love, loving bra tops right now. And I got this one. It's like faux leather kind of, kind of like what liquid leggings would be made out of. And then the back is the best part. It's kind of like a cage style right across the back. I love this. It reminds me of Brandy Melville's stuff, but I've never ordered from that site, and we don't have one in my city. And this one was $16.80, and I got it in a large. And then while I was shopping at Urban Planet, I picked up this cute little gray, it's like charcoal, charcoal gray and white polka dot crop top. And this one's actually reversible, which is really cute. So it's black on the other side. And this I picked up in a size large, and it was 5 bucks. And if you follow my blog, you might have already seen this top. It's the white eyelet peplum top that I wore in a blog post. And it's got this, got this cute zipper detail on the back. I picked this up from Winners. The brand is Imaginary Voyage, and I got it in a size large. I think it was $20, and it's kind of wrinkled because I've already worn it, and it's going in the wash. You guys know that I'm loving single sole shoes right now, and what that means is just like no platform, and I really like strappy sandals. You saw in my last video, I think it was my last video, the um, Prabal Gurung ones that I got, and the Zara ones. I just, I'm loving those. I was looking for the perfect black pair, and I think I found them. I bought these ones from ASOS. They are the Hong Kong strappy sandal or something. I saw them on I Am Katu's blog in Nude many, many months ago, and I didn't pull the trigger, and then I saw someone else wearing them in like a teal color, and I was like, I just need to get these shoes because I've been looking for a black strappy pair and nothing is fitting the bill. And I wear a lot of gold, and I just love that this is skinny. There's no platform. It's got the great gold thing, a zipper detail. The heel is not too high. So these finally arrived in the mail, and let me tell you, they are not comfortable. Um, my Zara ones are far more comfortable. These are super stiff. They don't have a lot of give to them. I have not worn them yet, but they're just like really hard. But that's okay. I got them in a size 8, a UK 8, which is like a US or Canadian 10. And these are a little bit expensive. They were $100, but the shipping was free with ASOS, and they also have free returns, so I figured if I hate them, I can return them, but I love them. So I am loving kind of dressing up my sweatshirts. I did a DIY a few months back about how you could kind of update an oversized crew neck sweatshirt. I'll link that down below but the other day I was at Walmart and I saw this one which is really cute. It's white. I love that the sleeves are like snug and then the body is a bit bigger and it's got a really sweet boat neck which is great instead of a crew neck so I don't need to cut the neck out or anything. It falls really nicely. I was thinking with like a statement necklaces would look really great. We're gonna see a lot of that trend towards the fall with you know graphic sweatshirts 
and big statement necklaces making like a big impact. I was thinking I could put some iron on letters here, I'm not sure what, or maybe just leave it plain, tuck it into kind of jeans with heels and it'd look really chic. And then of course, you know, you can always dress it down with, you know, a casual pair of shorts or even sweatpants. And I got this in a size medium and it was only 10 bucks. So if you guys follow my blog or Instagram, you know that I recently cut up a pair of thrifted men's jeans and I was looking for the perfect pair so I can make a pair of denim cutoffs. These are what I ended up making. I love these. I managed to like get a cool rip going here in the front with still like some strings going across, not just like a big gaping hole. The biggest thing that I look for is cool back pockets. Now I love the back pockets on these because they're really big and they go almost to right where like I cut the shorts off. The brand is Cobelty. I have no idea like who makes these. I've never heard of them before but they were definitely men's and I don't even know what size these are. Oh, 34? Yeah, I normally wear like a 30. Anyways, if you guys want to know how you can get this look, I actually have a tutorial on my blog. I'll link it down below. And last but not least, my most exciting, exciting, exciting purchase, which you may already know if you follow um, my Twitter or Instagram, is my new MacBook Pro. I got this a couple weeks ago, and I've been slowly getting used to using a Mac. I am a PC user. So, you know, switching over to a Mac, there's definitely a learning curve, but it's amazing. It's, oh, it's so wonderful. And it's definitely a big ticket purchase. And I didn't really want to spend the money, but I kind of needed to because my former laptop, which wasn't too old, was just kind of filled, laden with viruses. It took 26 minutes just to boot the thing up, which is crazy, I know. I timed it once, I'm not even exaggerating. It was really frustrating making YouTube videos, blogging, and just generally using my laptop. But now I have this beautiful, beautiful MacBook, which I'm absolutely loving, and that is it. <laughs> oh, and one more thing I wanted to tell you guys. I actually make videos for a mall in my city. I put out a new video every month and these videos are way better than the videos that I post on my actual channel. Because it is my job, I put a lot of effort and time and love into these videos. So if you want to check those out, I just put out a new video and it's, it's, my best video to date. It's all about summer trends and things you can wear for summer. I'll link the channel down below and I'll also link my most recent video down below too and if you guys want to see more videos by me you can check that out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe down below. Thumbs up if you like haul videos or if you want to see more videos and I'll see you next time. Bye!